back. Welcome back to the Couch Cafe playing Matthew yeah. playing Doki Doki, Doki Yeah, Matthew reading. Matthew doing literally everything. I mean, it's Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe, but... No buts. No buts. Buts are for sitting. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. You. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expecting faces. His uh, face says out loud. <laughs> Sigh. I just, I, I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Oh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. Uh, this, <laughs> this, no, this club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No. Ha, <laughs> Monica. This is too sodden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. This now, is like... I f oh, yeah. Monica flips through a notebook to the specific poem she has in her mind in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. I don't want to read this. Uh, read him. Monica begins reciting. Her clear confidence points... More than that, her inflection is pristine. pristine. Yikes. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't, under that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recite. Ah. The four of us. Are Thank you. That was called Rainbow Connection. <laughs> <laughs> a personal favorite. That, that was so good, Monica. Oh, well, thank you very much. I was just hoping you set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? <laughs> I'll go next. Whoa! Yuri's flared up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. <laughs> this poem is called Lisa Y. <laughs> Your anx Yuri anx anxiously glances. Yikes. You can do it, Yuri. It's called... That's me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and sudden woman. I don't remember this happening. The poem is full of twists and turns in its, in its structure, and she enunciates the perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse of the, into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Head. She's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. gravity. It's the second... What is it? Eminem &M reference we've made in two episodes. Yeah. It's up to me to say the situation. Woo, yeah! Woo! Single clap. Oh fuck! Yeah. It's not that we didn't want to. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but that that we were caught off guard by. As we applaud, Yuri holds the phone to her chest and rushes back I into her seat. This now. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Siri so hops off her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This was called my meadow. Uh, uh huh. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. Yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, I try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I'm scared of my reflection. It blinks. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her uh, soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't as, isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. Like she said she liked. If I, yeah. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to read, oh, well, yikes. It's like I get to reach much more deeply into someone that I, th I thought I knew him. Jesus. That's why I want to go to Sayori, because I want to know more about her through and through. Mm, Sayori finishes it, and we applaud. 
Hey, I did it! Good job, Sayori. Hey, even Fluckin liked it! No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I guess that's a good sign. I don't feel emotion. What does it even mean? What is no, like What is it? What is it? Yeah, it came out is... nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite well with the kind of delivery. I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's why I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. It's like tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Fluckin. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Fluckin lower everyone's standards a little before I have Fuck. to Fuck. I told you she was a bitch. Natsuki. Oh, I almost fell. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's fuck. you still. I might, I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh, goodness. I recite my poem. Since I am not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish... I receive a plot. I don't know why okay. that happened. Sorry, I'm not as good as everyone else. No, nah, don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about the rainbow connection, lack of confidence in your writing. <laughs> That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begin be yeah, begrudgingly. begrudgingly. I'm not like, jumping you to the like, words. You don't have to, like, go really fast. Go. Gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is cold. It's cold. Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> when she starts reciting the poem, this, her sour attitude disappears a little. Only a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. No, no, I got this. Clap on, clap off. <laughs> she huffs back to her seat. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh, Will. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I'll mm. be doing it in front of people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But what it's just my friends? Oh, she's friends? Fuck. It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you don't have much to worry about in the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up home and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets to let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort in for the club. It makes me really happy. She just whips face. Yeah, I just it's not Suki across the face with her hair. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. We have one more day. I forgot about this. Oh. Get to the festival. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. <laughs> I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to make it. To make, find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Excuse me. Ready to go, Sayori. Yep. Look at you always going home together like that. Yeah, it's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Flucket. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I sound like an asshole there. I walk Still home with, sorry, you. fuck, sorry. I walk 
Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Oh, I like her so much. Hey, Sayori. Oh, sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, uh, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her own words. Uh, touch, uh, but, uh... Mm. So let's say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I would walk home with Yuri. Really? Okay. Well, what do you want me to pick? Do Yuri. It doesn't. It doesn't matter to me because it's your your choice. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought? Uh, why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean. Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I feel like I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just <laughs> said. I'm gonna eat some apples. Crystal meth? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, you admitted it. <laughs> Jeez. There's not even a point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Why do you like to think about it? It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Oh. That's why I love her so much. Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Uh, sorry. Everyone is different. <clears throat> Nobody in the club has a replacement for you. Mm -hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. Oh, girl. But it, was <laughs> but it was kind of her fault for trapping me in such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. That's like why the festival's a big deal, because we won't be... Oh fuck, I gotta write another one? Yeah, alright. What word? Um... Who are we trying to impress? Are we trying to go for Yuri or Sayori? Are we gonna go for Yuri? I don't, it it's really a, doesn't matter to it's me. It's up to you. I don't really care. I really like Sayori. Okay, we'll go for Sayori this time. Jump. Kawaii is Sayori. That's, no, that's totally not Suki. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Shame. <gasps> Holy fuck. <gasps> Boop. Dazzle? Yeah. Yeah. Got him. Giggle. She did do... Fuck. Um... How about yeah. Embrace? Yeah. There you okay, go. Okay, alright. Uncontrollable. Oh, that was... Kiss. No, that's also gonna be fluffy. Yuri. It's gonna be that's not gonna Suki. be Natsuki. Yeah. Yeah, she likes the bittersweet things. So like, disarray. Oh shoot. Um. Vacation. We're doing really good. Romance. No wait. Sk Analysis. No, I should have known. Um, what dance? Yeah, there you go. Childhood. Sadness. Alone. <laughs> Fuck. Cheeks. Cheeks. Despise. Oh, depression. Oh my gosh! Why did she get all the meager? That's racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's no. Hmm. That's not how you spell judgment. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> I'm judging don't ju yeah, don't judge your judgment. No, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in. We'll go a little bit longer before we do another episode. Okay. Were you, pr huh. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Yeah? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It's a whole day of school we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Dude, that sounds so I awesome. can't eat because I have a mask on. <laughs> like killing them. Well, how, how did you, you fit? You always used to fit in killing the Batman. I forgot. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, did they usually have fried squid? What the fuck? 
Squid. You, dude, you've never had fried squid? Yeah, it's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Do you never have fried squid? No. Calamari? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, that's no, fried squid. come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? Because I don't like the Batman. <laughs> Thank you. You of all people, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right on your name. Mon Uka. That doesn't even make any sense. Huh? Yeah? That's not how you spell my... That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> uh. That was funny. Yeah, I'll never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as your your Sayori's or Batman's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. Oh, maybe oh. depression's true. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Go statues. Ugh. You're spacing out again. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Well, jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Oh, she's cute. It'll let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Yeah. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they might be spending a lot of time together. Intimid I intimidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through, her s through some papers at the desk. Look. Mm, Jesus. Yeah, Flicky, what's up? How do you keep track of the fucking voices? It's, hard. it's yeah, I would imagine. Why sound strange? Oh yeah, fuck. This might, might seem sound. crazy, what I'm about to say. <laughs> Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Uh, uh, anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe she's real too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Ugh, I hate yawning is contagious. Now everyone at home is going to yawn too. Oh, I'm you think sorry. So? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room to say at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her Poor desk. Girl. Well, maybe there is something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Fluckin. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about what things that bother her. But this time I asked her she was really dismissed. Really with, sad. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to, see, to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? I dropped my... <laughs> you dropped your blanket. Maybe I'll be talking... Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. I, uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Yeah, are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? Oh. Oh. What do you mean by that? We'll find out on the next, next episode. episode of Doki Doki Literature Club on the Couch Cafe. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys next time at the Couch Cafe. Yeah, turn up. Yeah, turn up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> turn up. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Yeah, everybody eats. Everybody eats. <laughs>